Hey, everyone. We're going to go over a logistic regression using JASP. So uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. And uh, let's, uh, uh, let's give this a shot. So here we have a data set. And the data set looks at, we're going to use this, see if this, this data set comes from Andy Fields. And we're going to see if we can predict condom use. You know, whether someone chooses to have unprotected sex or use a condom. And we're going to look at uh, their uh, perceptions of safe sex, uh, how they identify in terms of self-control, uh, their previous sexual experiences, and their perceptions about uh, about safety, uh, and whether uh, uh, and whether it's in the extent to which you know sex without a condom is safe uh, with a partner. And so, uh, in order to do this, we go to regression and we click on logistic regression, and we. Uh, put condom use uh, as our criterion variable, and then we put in safety, sexual experience, self-control, and their perception, uh, their perceptions of safe sex. And I like to ask for um, uh, odds ratios. You can ask for standardized coefficients as well and get the standardized beta weights. I like confidence intervals, and um, uh, this is the odds ratio for the, uh, 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 for the confidence intervals. Um, and then uh, I also like to uh, look at the display of the conditional estimate plots. And that shows you that these variables uh, um, within a 95% conf confidence uh, level are, you know, more or less linear. Um, though I, I will say that uh, uh, perception looks uh, uh, somewhat nonlinear, doesn't it? It kind of has a dip right here, um, you know, that, uh, um, you know, right around here, you know, where, where someone seems to have uh, some lower perceptions of, about uh, uh, condom use and, and uh, you know, it starts off, it, it dips a little and then comes back up, it looks like. But uh, so, but for the most part, these relationships look rather linear. You can see that one goes in a very different direction uh, than the others. Um, so safety has a negative relationship, which means the more safe I feel about my partner not having a sexually transmitted disease, the the less likely I am to use a condom. And so we see that with this odds ratio. ratio. Remember, odds ratios of one um, mean that 50-50, you know. So here the odds ratio is, is less than one, which means it doesn't, you know, probably the easiest way to interpret this, I don't like to interpret, you know, here we would say this is two and a half, you know, for example, perception of, of, of safe sex uh, is two and a half times uh, more likely uh, to use a condom. In other words, um, you know, the, uh, the extent to which someone believes that there is a risk of unprotected sex, they're two and a half times more likely to use a condom. But here, um, to say that there's 0.63 times likely to use a condom doesn't really make sense. So what we can do here is we can take that odds ratio, uh, the odds ratio of 0.634, invert it, and instead of it predicting condom use, it predicts not using a condom, which makes sense here. A person is 58%, has a 58% increase of not using a condom um, if they believe their, per the, the, their partner is safe from a sexually transmitted disease. So it, you know, you, you, when you invert it, you predict the zero instead of the one. And so here we see that our significant predictors are safety, uh, self-control, um, so about a 40% increase in likelihood of using a condom if you have more self-control, or 1.4 times more likely, and then perceptions, as we talked about before, uh, 1.64 times more likely, so about a 64% increase. And so that's how we uh, evaluate um, a logistic regression uh, in JASP. Uh, email me if you have questions.